If you are looking for a small camper van, Class B RV, that probably fits in the standard household garage, then this should be on your list. This is the Thor. It's on the Ram 1500 uh, ProMaster chassis, which means it's the shortest of the ProMaster lineup. This is a really compelling floor plan because it offers a full camper van Class B RV traveling experience especially for long weekends or even just buzzing around town having the functionality of a motorhome, even just going to the old Walmart. Let me show you around. Then we're going to jump outside, show you that, and then we're going to put pricing and specs at the end. Let's get into it. Upon opening the door, the first thing you notice is that this is a relatively different floor plan than what you've seen before. Galley, sofa, lagoon table, pivoting chairs. Let me close the door. Save the AC, a little bit of storage up here, a lot of bit of storage up here, some above seating cabinetry, bathroom in the back. But let me show you around because this is very different. Where's the bed? Yeah, the bed's right here. So let's do that last, but let me just kind of walk you through some of the features of this van. It's really pretty compelling. Again, if you're looking for a small, compact Class B RV. So table set up, there is one lagoon mount here and the table can be positioned up and down, twist sideways. So it's pretty compelling in a number of reasons. Even if the bed is deployed, this becomes a nightstand. We'll show you the bed in a second. Nice touches like slide over windows. This is the, um, the sunblock valance here. So a nice little bit of a residential touch and speaker for the stereo system. These lights push on and off, which is nice. And up above, we have some cabinetry. Kind of a gloss with matte finish, no hardware on the outside, contemporary and sleek, no positive locking, maybe that's okay. But it is one long cupboard that I really enjoy these because you can make a size with shelving and other, way, other ways to divide this off uh, versus having the manufacturer put a divider in, forcing you to use just this little cubby. So I really do like these when they're open like this. Again, pretty nice hinge system some uh, electrical controls back here looking over here above the galley again storage is right here with some power which is real nice rounding out storage down below we have some cubbies here dog food uh, water and dog food if you're into that or you can take this out altogether which is kind of nice taking a look at the galley Let's start here. This is a really nice Italian vitro free refrigerator. Man, it feels really solid. It's stainless steel on the outside. A little bit of a freezer action here. You can definitely get some, uh, again, for a long weekend, some, some goods in there, lots of storage. Just a really nice feel, stainless on the outside. This is a counter extension top. Let's see if we can get it all the way out. There we go. So this would be super helpful if you're using the propane stove, the dual burner right here. And let's say you have to use the sink at the same time. This becomes super valuable space for cooking. If you don't need the sink, then this becomes additional prep space. And this is quite deep. So even with the cooktop up, you could put a few things back here while you're making a meal and not be in the way. But this is very valuable space. Good job, Thor, for putting that in here. And we love Dometic residential style faucet. I'm assuming a TV goes here because of the outlets and the cable here, but uh, no TV mounted here currently. Uh, it may be an option. I'm guessing not because they probably wouldn't have put a big old hinge here. So somebody probably swapped out a, a smart TV here. Above is a microwave, very nice. Standard microwave, not convection. And we have a splash guard here. So when you're cooking, splatters go on this thing not on your valance and not on your woodwork. Pretty smart. This has a block out and again the lights. Really nice galley. Looking at the storage here. One, two, three, and four drawers. Plenty of storage there. This is your battery kill switch. AC, alternating current. And if we look back here, this is really smart that they brought the, the cabinet all the way out here. Sometimes I've seen this where they're only this wide and this is kind of useless space because if you, get, if you get, have to get in here, you got to move something. So good job, Thor, bringing it all the way out here 
And again, this can act as a, a pantry, not a wardrobe, not deep enough to accommodate shirts. Some cubbies here, very smart, very smart. More storage here. Wow. One, two, and one here, which is pretty cool. So while not super deep, they are providing some really nice storage, well thought out overall. What do you think so far? It's pretty cool. Let me show you the bed. So by day, this is a loveseat couch. I don't know, you could probably take a snooze here real easily, just moving a few of these things around. Maybe your head goes here for a few minutes, you take a little snooze. But what's pretty cool about it is it becomes a pretty good sized bed. The bed taking up this entire section here. The way it works is we're gonna move these snaps to a unlock position. One, two, like that. And now what I'm gonna do is reposition some of these cushions quick. These are kind of Velcro together, you can see that. So again, a lot of flexibility here. I'll just put this bad boy up here. And then what you do is you grab this little handle right here, which you can see. So from underneath, and this pulls out, and that exposes one of two sections of the bed. Now these go back down here, like that. And this probably tucks in the side like that. And now you've got a bed. So you do the same thing over here pull this out, reposition the cushion, and now you've got the idea. And you can still access the bathroom. You have to kind of scoot yourself a little bit, but nonetheless for a short duration trip, really smart floor plan. So I'm gonna pretend this is my cushion. Let's put this guy where it belongs, right back here. Maybe we'll turn him that way. Um, and what I wanna do is just kind of demonstrate for you. Again, I'm 5'11". Well, 5'10", 5'11", with cowboy boots, weigh about 160 pounds. So again, plenty of room if you don't mind being cozy, if this is my pillow. Um, it's on the firm side, but, um, but not too bad. And again, if you're with somebody and you don't move around a lot, this is actually not bad. And uh, it's pretty comfy. Cool view. What do you think? All right, let's put this together. Back to seating. So again, this cushion gets removed. Let's vocal these guys back together. Go like that, right? Push this in. That goes right there. Actually goes this way. Or it went this way. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So all the way in so that it locks. Like that. And this one will do the same thing. So it takes just a couple minutes. It's my first time doing this. So these things are always a little tricky on the first go around. There it goes. Now let's put this back over here. Like that. And you're set back up for a couch. Pretty cool, right? Really flexible space. If you are the traveler that doesn't really sleep in your van a lot and you maybe do hotels instead, this is going to be a lot better van for you. So you're traveling to destinations, maybe friends, family, hotels again. We have all the comforts of a motorhome and kind of emergency sleeping if you need it. But lots of space in here. Two people can function very easily in here. Uh, I'm really impressed. Good job, Thor. Let's look at the bathroom. Then we'll jump outside, pricing and specs at the end. Looking at the bathroom, this is uh, pocket doors that hide the bathroom. Again, very smart. There's a little bit of a magnet that keeps them, there we go, keeps them tight, which is cool. This folds into the walls. And it's a typical rear bath setup. So it's a wet bath, meaning the shower and the toilet are in the same space. This is your shower pan. They have a little mat here, which is kind of nice. But here's your shower drain right there. This is a cassette toilet. That means that there is no wet tank, or no black tank rather, underneath the vehicle. Uh, there is a cassette that you pull out of the side. We'll see that from the outside. Holds probably about five gallons of toilet waste. And that's how this functions. Up here you have your sink. 
and faucet. So you do your stuff here, turn that up, and you dump it into the drain. Shower curtain in the way, the drain's right there, you can see it, right? And then your sink is out of the way. Pretty smart. Medicine chest. Hey, everybody. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Thanks for joining me for this van tour. Go Small, Live Large, my channel, all about the camper van travel experience. Thanks for watching. Pretty good size uh, storage space. Again, shower does require a, here's your on off. And this is your shower curtain that rides on a rail around the bathroom. And this is necessary because this is your cargo door, right? The van, this is wood, and this is wood, your pocket door. So you do need to deploy your curtain, shower curtain, to take a shower. This is a shower right here. Controls on off and temperature, but pretty smart. This is a little vent system. And we do a vent up here as well. That's actually probably heat. I'm guessing that's heat. And this is the vent. Because this is the rear doors, you need to use your window covers. You have a toilet paper, toilet tissue holder right here. And again, some little uh, stringy, nutty things for some storage here. Looking at the wardrobe, quite large. Nice that it's kind of got a little curved cut. I like that's kind of a Nice, nice touch, right? Wardrobe, and you could put a, probably a shelving system in here if you don't want to use a wardrobe, or if you do, maybe make the wardrobe this big for hanging items, and then use this for, again, building out a shelf unit so you're using, uh, really maximizing that space. I've seen people do that. Uh, people get very clever. Drawer, another drawer, and that's how that rolls. And if you want to kind of get a sense of the feel of the bathroom with the doors closed, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. You could definitely shower standing um, right here, and uh, the shower curtain would kind of limit a little bit of access, but I think overall this is a pretty decent-sized bathroom. People can do their business uh, very happily in here. Uh, so again, just a good job. I like these pocket doors. It's pretty cool. A little tricky sometimes. This is how you uh, make them stay shut is with this little contraption right there. So really, really nice little floor plan. Again, good daily driver. Price point's really on point and has all the functionality most people need. Does not have lithium, this model. We are plugged into shore power, running the air conditioning system, ceiling fan, and then this is their control panel, which is kind of a Thor thing. I'm actually kind of glad these guys do this. It's pretty cool. Here's the home button. Here we can turn on the lights. So kitchen, on, off, living room, on, off, on, and um, front accent, which is this light strip there, off, on, touch a single button and all the activity happens right here. There is the Truma heat up here, which is uh, not yet integrated into the Firefly system, but uh, this is how you control the electric heat propane heat and hot water is from this control panel right here. This is the inverter. This would have a generator to run this when not plugged in. I really like this unit. Why? It's different floor plan number one. It's really compact, has full features for long weekend trips or visiting uh, friends and family when you're not relying on the bed for sleeping purposes. It has a fully functioning bath, which is really great. Always nice to have your toilet with you wherever you go. Um, let me know what you think about this. Let's jump outside. I'll show you around outside. Nice wide running board. White van, which is really nice, helps repel the heat. Again, this is the scope by Thor, the 20M, I'm sorry, the 18M floor plan. It is on the Ram ProMaster 1500, which is the shortest of the three models of ProMaster. This has the uh, little bit older uh, cab inside and front end. We walk around this way, we can see we have a awning. Again, scope. Howdy. Electrical. This one has the, the tool bike rack, which is pretty nice. You can put bikes on this rack and open the door without having to unrack the bikes. Extremely cool. So opening this exterior door. Uh, we have access to a little bit of storage here and some systems, including a spray port, which is cool to hose off a dog, 
a mountain bike, maybe cool down your spouse. On this side, this is a little different than we've seen. And that's because the cassette toilet is actually accessed here, not where we typically see it, which is around here. The reason being is the chassis isn't long enough to accommodate an exterior access. So this is how you access your cassette toilet. This is locked currently. You would unlock this, this comes out, and then the, the door comes down, and then the cassette comes out from underneath the toilet. It's hosed right in here. You can see it's green for it's pretty empty. But that's how you do this to empty your cassette toilet. City fill, so using pressurized water here. This is locking tank fill. So this is if you're running into a campsite and you want to run off pressurized city water, not filling your tank. This is where this goes. If you're filling your onboard tank, this is where this goes. It's kind of cool that it's locked uh, so nobody can tamper with it and that it's on the exterior, which is a very different approach than what Winnebago is doing these days, putting all the water controls on the inside. So you have to have your doors open for that. Looking down here, this is the exhaust for the generator. This is the Truma heat exhaust. This is where the sewer hose goes, 30 amp in. This is your cable TV. And this is solar, so if you want to put a bunch of solar out here, you can do just that. Propane right here, and another running board to get into the, into the coach. Up on board we have, again, the AC, wine guard, for uh, internet connectivity, and we have a single solar panel uh, back here. Probably can't put much more solar on, on the exterior because there's not a lot of room. So what you do is you use your solar uh, uh, port here, put your array out here, and if it's in hot weather, what you really want to do is keep your van in the shade so that you can stay cool, but it's keeping your system charged, which will work if you don't need to run the AC. We just want to thank our friends here at La Mesa RV Rec Van. They're really focusing on vans in Phoenix, Arizona. They carry some of the best brands, Storyteller, Thor, Leisure Travel Vans, Tiffin, and Winnebago. So really great brands carried by these guys. And uh, this is their Phoenix location. They have a lot of inventory here and are ready to talk to you. And just a, again, a big thanks to these guys for uh, giving me access to this vehicle. So we can show you van tours. Let's jump inside. So what do you think of the 20M by Thor? It's a cool van, I really like it. Um, what I don't really like is there's no lithium system, but this is, I think, a price point that they're attracting folks to on this van. And again, if you have shore power um, and you can run your generator to um, have this in a boondocking situation, I think for a daily driver, for the price point, it's a pretty compelling rig to have everything you need with you all the time. Bed, fridge, sink, toilet and air conditioning. So um, I just find it a very compelling uh, van. More importantly, what do you think about it? We put the prices down as the video, video went through. Um, pricing is always tricky because in a couple months, this could be a very different price point altogether. So the best thing to do is reach out to La Mesa RV in Phoenix, in this case, to uh, check the latest pricing and inventory. We'll put the manufacturer specs and the MSRP here at the back. So as we always like to say, as we say, journey on and peace be with you. We'll see you soon.